Hey M Squad, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mary Maxine, the girl with the kinks and the curls. I know it has been such a while since I've posted a video on my YouTube channel and I am definitely going to be working on more content for you all because I do love making content. I had to take a breather because I was in the midst of graduating college and then there was a lot going on within my community. I'm pretty sure you all know what has been going on um, in the news and whatnot. So I had to take a breather for myself, for my sanity. And now I definitely want to get back into making more content and whatnot. Um, so for today's video, I decided that I'm going to be showing you all my summer wash and go routine. So I'm going to be showing y'all how I slay my wash and go um, for the summer. And the summer, I typically like to do a lot of wash and goes just because I like my hair like wild and crazy and nice and juicy and defined and voluminous and all that good stuff. Um, so I decided that today I'm going to show y'all what I have been doing to my hair to get my curls shit popping. My hair is in a tired, dusty bun right now, but I promise you by the end of the video, I'm gonna be looking good. <laughs> if you like this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. Also leave a comment in the comment section letting me know what style you like to rock the most in the summer. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am going to try to post videos every Wednesday, so definitely subscribe because you don't want to miss out and turn on that post notification bell as well so that you are notified when good content drops, okay? Okay. <laughs> Last but not least, if you are not following me on social media, my name on social media is at Kinky Curly Mary. I would love for you to join M Squad on social media as well. Without any further ado, I'm just going to hop into the video. I am going to wash and deep condition my hair off camera just because I want to save some time within this video. I don't want this video to be too, too long, but I will come back on here when I am ready to style my hair. But real quickly, before I even get into the shower and do my hair, I want y'all to see how dry my hair looks, okay? Because this is just, this is a shame, honestly. You would think that since I'm into doing hair care and stuff that my hair would be in a better state, but um, honey, take me as I am, okay? So this. What is this, honey? This is what we working with. <laughs> as you can see, my hair is looking, um, <laughs> it needs some TLC. It is very, very dry. There's no definition to it. But it's okay though, because we, well me, well y'all are about to see me style my hair. So let's get it. All right, so boom. This is what my hair looks like with deep conditioner inside of it. So first what I'm going to do is make sure that I run my hair under warm water to remove the deep conditioner from my hair. I actually have this deep conditioner sitting in my hair for about 45 minutes. My hair needed a little extra TLC that day. And as you can see, my curls began to start to pop. So next up, I'm going in with the main crush, Fairy God Mother Leave-In Conditioner. As y'all can see, that leave-in conditioner is thick, honey. It is thick. But once I applied it to my hair, it felt so, so good in my hair. It honestly melted into my hair. As y'all can see right now, I'm just raking it in, just trying to make sure that it is all worked up into my hair. And then next up, I follow up with my Melanin Hair Care Multi-Purpose Oil Blend. This is one of my favorite oils to use on my hair. It just works so well on my hair. And now I'm going to go in and style my hair with the Main Crush Unicorn Curls. So this wash and go, as y'all can see, is a no gel wash and go. I like to typically lean towards no gel wash and goes because I feel like gel is kind of harsh for the hair, especially when you use it repeatedly. So for this wash day, I decided that I was just gonna go in with the cream and use that as my styler. And one thing that I can definitely say that is important when using a cream instead of a gel as your styler is to make sure that you are working that product into your hair properly just to help your curls to clump and pop. So I continue these steps until I finish my whole entire head. So first I rinse out the deep conditioner, 
Then I go in with the leave-in conditioner and I make sure I work it right into my hair. Make sure my hair is nice and moisturized as y'all can see. Then I section off my hair after applying my oil and then go in with some of that unicorn curls. This is a huge side note, but I wanna know how y'all be filming inside the shower. Cause as y'all can see, it kinda got a little steamy, little steamy inside the shower. Um, so if y'all have any tips and tricks on how I can film inside the shower without it getting steamy, let your girl know. Okay, so my hair is 100% dry. I actually sat under my hooded dryer for about 35 minutes, I think. I was originally going to sit under my hooded dryer for an hour, but after 20 minutes, I felt my hair and I figured I could just sit under it for another 10 minutes and my hair would be fine. And obviously it was fine. And these are the end results. I honestly like this product combination. I haven't used these products in quite a while, honestly. It's been a while. A while and um, I didn't want them to expire I think they're going to go bad soon so I figured why not test these two products out together typically three products but I figured why not test them out together and see what it would do to my hair and obviously it did what it had to do okay what what had to be done was done okay okay if you like this video please be sure to leave a thumbs up also leave a comment in the comment section letting me know what are some of your favorite styles to rock during the summer if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel please be sure to subscribe i am going to try emphasis on try to post videos every wednesday at 6 p.m i know i have been slacking and it's been almost a month or maybe more than a month since i've posted anything on my channel and I just want to come back on here and make more content. I know I say that all the time, every time I go MIA, but I actually mean that now. I kind of have more free time, so I'm definitely going to be trying to put more time into my content and whatnot. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any video suggestions, please be sure to leave it down below and I'll definitely try and film that suggestion for you. Make sure you also turn on that post notification bell so that you are notified every time I post a new video because who would want to miss this? <laughs> Last but not least, if you are not following me on social media, my name is at Kinky Curly Mary. M Squad is lit on Instagram, so please be sure to follow me on there so that you can be part of the family on there like you're a part of the family on here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Until next time, M-Squad, peace and love always. Bye, y'all.